Okay, people, hello. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hi, teacher. Hello. Okay, now I can hear you well. Good. Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you ready? Yes, teacher, yes, I'm ready. Okay, that's nice. Sounds like a plan. Okay, we see the. Okay, wait a minute. Sorry, we don't need you anymore. Just let me share. Okay, remember yesterday we were talking about the schedule. Okay, the schedule, for example, that we have activities that we do every day, and this includes routines, okay? Routines of things that you do. And I was also asking you to pay attention to... Next start. Classes end. So when do you... From eight until midnight. Breakfast. Work at eight. Maya Black. Okay, here. Two, um, for example, the questions, right? For example, what's your schedule like? Okay, and this is what your schedule like. It means that, for example, my classes start at 8 a.m. So I get up at seven and then, and take the bus to school. Okay, when do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening from eight until midnight, okay? So this one, what's your schedule like? Again, uh, how do you go to work? Look, when do your classes end? And how do you get to work? What do you do after work? Okay, this is enough you know, probably you knowing your free time. Okay, what do you do in your free time? Then you say, I have dinner, then I take that taxi home. Uh, what time do you go to bed? Okay, how late do you work? Okay, and when do you study? So all these kind of questions are the ones that we need to practice, right? Here in the... In the knowledge check. So you have the three schedules and you have some questions, right? It says, read the article, then number the activities in each person's schedule and select the number from one to five. This is how to find the... Oh, how to find the chronological order. Okay, because they are not in that order in the reading. Okay, so then you have, for example, a, number one is she gets up. Okay, here says, what's, what's your schedule like? My classes start at 8 a.m. Okay, aparece, my classes start, but it's not the first action. The first action is get up. Okay, and then say she gets up. Number two, she takes the bus. So I get up at seven and take the bus to school. So that's the number two. Then number three, she works, sorry. Number three, number three, she goes to class, okay? My classes start at 8 a.m. She goes to class. Then the number four, she works. When do your classes end? 
they end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. Then she works after study. Okay, after she goes to class, she goes to work. And then number five, It says, so when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening from eight to something, right? What time is it? To until midnight, okay, until. Okay, so you have first event, the second event, the third event. So they had a fourth and the fifth event. Yes. What about this one? What's the number one? Well, for example, he has breakfast is one, two, three, four, or five. One. Okay, sure. Okay, good, number one. Okay, number two. Oh, he starts work. He starts work. First event, second event, or the third event. Yo no lo entiendo, casi ese ejercicio, teacher. Okay. Encontrar el orden cronológico de las actividades. Por ejemplo, me decía acá, la número uno, aquí aparece primero las clases, pero no es la primera actividad que hizo. Lo primero que hizo fue levantarse. Yes, por eso aparece el number one. La segunda es tomar el bus. Número dos. Y la tercera es ir a clases. Las clases comienzan a las 8. Es como que yo le diga, por ejemplo, vaya, que mi, mi horario es, I start work at 7, okay, a.m. Then I get up at 4.15 because of the traffic. Okay, then I take the shower, I take a shower Okay, when get dressed and drive to work. Lo primero que mencioné fue el trabajo, pero esa es la última. Porque primero me levanto, luego me baño, luego me cambio, y luego manejo. Y luego comienzo a trabajar. Ok, ahí serían cinco actividades. La última sería esta. Entonces, eso es lo que han hecho acá, ok. For example, the, my classes start at eight, pero ese es el tercer el primero es I get up at seven. El primero es levantarse. Ok. The second is eh, take the bus. Lo que dice I get up at seven y tomo el bus a la escuela. Ok. Obviamente, después de esas dos acciones, she goes to class. Yes. Mm. Sí. Ok. Es como, o sea, como la rutina diaria. Exactamente, pero ponerla en el... En el Porque es de ordenarla, ¿verdad? Es de ordenarla en ese orden de, cronológico del tiempo. ¿Qué pasó primero? ¿Qué fue segundo? ¿Qué fue tercero? ¿Qué fue cuarto? ¿Y qué fue quinto? ¿Yes? Entonces, para eso, vamos a hacer un... Vamos a ver el número dos. Observe, veanlo. Vamos a hacerlo más. Grandecito. No nos deja. Sí, creo que termina. Ok. Vean, denle una mirada y vean cuál fue el primer evento, cuál fue el segundo, cuál fue el tercero. And 
es que a veces la, la primera es la, la tres. Ok, let's see. This one is number three. Yes. It has breakfast. Dice, well, I get up, es la primera, definitivamente. And got for a run. Okay, before breakfast. O sea, va a correr antes de desayunar. Ok, ajá. Uh -huh. Exactamente. La primera es la tres. Así es. Ok, good. And he starts work. En la segunda es la four. Second is number four. Okay. And he eats dinner. Five. Por la lógica, ajá, por la lógica tendría que ser five. He gets up. One. Ajá, uh -huh, correct. And he goes for a run. Two. Two. Okay. There it is. Okay, let's see the other one. Three. Okay. This is I work at night, I go to work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. I have dinner, then take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 5 a.m. in the morning. Okay, so which one is number one? Three. Three, she has dinner, three. She finishes work. Two. Two. She goes to bed. Five. That's the number five. That's the number five, right? Okay, the next one. 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 And? Four. Four. Okay. That's it. Okay, all of them correct. Here we have all of them correct. And, well, this is where we're already correct. Okay, so this is, for example, to, to organize uh, events and the comprehension, right? Comprehension de la lectura, okay? Y orden cronológico, okay? Orden del tiempo. Then we have it. Okay, questions about this vocabulary? No? Okay. Now. Okay, now. Uh, now I want you to uh, think about questions. Piensen en, I don't know, probably una, dos preguntas que le puedan hacer a uno de sus compañeros. Por ejemplo, Lexi, eh, I don't know. Jennifer, what, what time do you start work? By seven. At seven, okay. That's the name. So now you're being, ah, finally. Yes, okay. Yes, at 7 a.m., okay. What time do you start? At eight o'clock. At eight o'clock? Uh, o'clock. Okay. okay, good. Eight o'clock. And when, how, how do you get to work? How do you get to work? No. Uh, you take, I take the bus, I drive, I walk, I... Uh, I ride my bike or I ride my motorcycle. The bus? I, I take the bus. I take the bus. 
repeat. I take. I take the bus. Perfect. Okay. Good. All right, everybody. Now, les voy a dar dos minutos para que piensen en dos preguntas y luego que escojan una víctima. Perdón, cuando fue a un compañero. Right. Yes. <laughs> okay. Y le van a hacer esas dos preguntas. Así como yo les voy a hacer las dos preguntas a, a Jennifer. Okay. So, uh, puede ser, what's your schedule like? Uh, what, uh, what time do you get up? Uh, what time do you start work? What time do you have lunch? Any question, okay? Two minutes. Solo voy a traer agua y continuamos, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, ready? Okay, one volunteer. One volunteer to ask the questions. Pueden ver las que están en el en la en la plataforma, right? No problem, because son las mismas, solo que orientadas a un compañero. Ready, Jenny? <laughs> <laughs> uh, ask the question to solo escoja alguien, right? One one victim. It can be Oscar, <laughs> Lillian, Reina, Milagro, Ivan. <laughs> okay. Any question, remember. <laughs> cualquier pregunta que tenga que ver con horario. Okay, de trabajo. O bueno, de, o a cualquier persona o cómo. Sí, usted escoge. Yo solo diga el nombre. Sí, tengo problemas con la, con la señal. Ok. Le digo yo el nombre, a quien le pregunta y usted hace la pregunta. Yes. Sí, la perdimos. Ok, let's see. Mm, teacher, hello. Yes, yes. yes. Can hear you. Um, bueno. Sí, que like. tengo problemas con la red. Okay. Con la señal. Ahorita se le puede. Voy a escoger a alguien o cómo. Yes. Mm. Solo diga un nombre de los que están aquí y esa persona le va a responder sus preguntas. Este, a Ivania. Okay. Ivania es la the chosen. La escogida. Hola, Jenny. Hi. Mire, ¿Oyó cómo le dijo? Hello, Jenny. Sí, oh, ya me va a masacrar. Sí, el lunes. El lunes. Ah, acabar. On, on Monday. On Monday. On Monday, okay. Monday, ok. Ok, good. El, el, el lunes no llego, entonces. Yes. You better not. You better not. Um, ok, pues. Ok, Ivania. Uh, what time do you have a uh, breakfast? Okay, perfect. What time do you have breakfast? Repeat, please. What time do you do? Do you have? What time do you have a breakfast? Eh, la última palabra no, no break, sé. Breakfast. Uh -huh. Desayuno. Uh -huh. What time do you have breakfast? El desayuno. Okay. Uh, es seven. A.M. Seven o'clock. Okay, seven o'clock. Very good. Excellent. 
Okay, so that's the idea, right? What time do you have breakfast? Okay, como una de sus rutinas, you say, well, at seven o'clock. Okay, breakfast. Okay. Uh, good. Second question. Mm. No sé si está bien esta pregunta, teacher, pero mm -hmm. me corrige. Okay. Uh, what? What do, do you, no, si le pregunto qué hora se levanta. What time? What time? Do you? Do you get up? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. What time do you get up? What time do you get up, Ivania? It's um, four. At four, wow, At four o'clock. Four o'clock, okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, Jenny, thank you, Vania. Eh, fíjense okay. bien, okay. como son rutinas, ella, bueno, de lunes a viernes, a las cuatro, me imagino, ok? Pero, what time do you get up on Sunday? What time do you get up on Sunday? ¿A qué hora se levanta el domingo? Ivania? <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> ¿Ah? 11, ok, ok, pero es que es, de eso se trata este, este ejercicio porque es algo bien personal, ok, ahí es donde ustedes ocupan okay. el inglés, porque dice, bueno, el domingo, obviamente cualquiera yo me levanto, yo, por ejemplo, todos los días me levanto a las 4, también, pero el domingo, 8, 9, right? Hay que reponer los días de exactly. semana. Ajá, Saturday cuando tengo tiempo igual, right? 7, 8. Saturday. Ajá, Saturday and Sunday. The, Saturday the, or Saturday, teacher? The two. The two ah, are correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Saturday and mm -hmm. Sunday, the routines are different. Okay? The ah. routines are different. For si example, se pone, teacher, yes. se especifica un día para que lo diga ella, ¿verdad? Es, ajá, se, se puede. Yo les, los, se los comenté para que vean que las rutinas pueden cambiar. Por ejemplo, hay rutinas sí. de fin de semana y rutinas Son de... Son diferentes. Exactly. Exactly, that's correct. On Saturday, I go get up at eight. I go to the supermarket or I go to uh, to buy something, to do some shopping. Uh, in the afternoon, I rest, I sleep. Okay, in the evening, I watch TV. On Sunday, I I mow the lawn. Okay, for program, okay, I get up at uh, eight or nine. Uh, I do exercise. I go to play football. Okay, so the routine is different, right? Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Okay. Now, teacher. Yes, Jennifer. What's your schedule like all today? Today. Uh -huh. Today. Let me see. Today was my. Okay, I got up. I get this up. This is four o'clock. I get up at four o'clock. Then I, I take a shower I, and I get dressed. At 5, 5 a.m., I drive to work. I get five, uh -huh, at 5. Oh. At 5, uh -huh. I drive to work. I get to work at 6. Okay, I get to work at 6. After that, I have breakfast. I have my breakfast at 6.15. Okay, 6.15, I have breakfast. At seven, at seven o'clock, I have classes. Okay, I teach a class from seven to nine to nine thirty. Okay. From 7 to 9.30, I have classes. Uh, at 10, at 10, I have a meeting, a reunion, okay, with my boss. At 12, I play soccer, okay? I play soccer at 12. At 1.30, at 1.30, I have lunch. Okay, after I play, I have lunch at 1 30. 
I start work again at 2 p.m. Okay, at 2 p.m. And then I finish work or I stop work at 4, 4 p.m. Okay, at 5 p.m. I am here in my house. Okay, at 5 p.m. Then I take another shower because it's hot and then because of the drive, I take a shower at 5.30. At six, I teach English in another class from six to eight. And then from eight to nine, to nine I teach this class, okay? Uh, eight. Uh, from eight to nine. From 8 p.m. to 9 p.m., I teach this class, okay? And after, I have a light dinner, okay? Light dinner. ¿Qué es una light dinner? Cena. Cena. Cena qué? Light. Cena light. Ah, okay. Light dinner. Una cena ligera, teacher. Ah, exactly, correct. Okay. And then um, I watch a little TV. I, I upload, then I upload the video, then subo el video, right? This video. And around 10, 10 30 p.m., I go to bed. I go to bed. Okay? Anda por hoy viernes, va? Estás a las 11. Okay. Yes. Tengo permiso hasta las 11. Okay. <laughs> ya a las 11 y media se me hace calabaza el sillón. Like in the Cinderella. Okay. So then <laughs> we have the, yes, we have, for example, that's my schedule from 4 a.m. to 11 on Friday, 11 p.m. Okay. Uh, the, rest okay. Of the, the rest of the week, Monday to Thursday, from 4 a.m. to 10 30 p.m. Yeah. And it's the same routine, the same routine. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, same routine. Saturday is different. Okay. Sunday is different. Mm -hmm. Saturday. Okay, good. So that's the, the schedule, right? The schedule, right. Okay. So then if you see, you can tell action by action, routine by routine, activity by activity. Okay, good. Uh, uh-huh. I need speaking in list in M listing. Okay. You need to speak. I'm listening. And listen. Yes, it's good. Remember that this is one of the yes, actually, this is the, the best way to to learn English is using it, right? Speaking. Uh, first. Algún consejo? First, listen, listen and listen and listen. Uh, for example, the, do you have, a, well, now you can watch, for example, in YouTube. In YouTube, you can go and then you can uh, find uh, movies. There is one. I'm going to give you this. Learn English. with movies. Okay. If you put that in YouTube, then you will have a, a, a channel, a channel, a channel uh, where you can watch the videos. Some extractos de, de película, pero los han hecho académicos. Eh, donde le marcan palabras y después le explican qué significa cada una de ellas, la pronunciación, pero todo en inglés. Y, este, y luego eh, le, le hacen practicar la, la parte auditiva, right Primero aparece con subtítulos. En En inglés, inglés. No, en YouTube. Ahí está el, el, lo que tienen que poner ahí en el... Let me see, for example, if I have... A, Thank you, teacher. Okay, and then uh, 
Uh, you can you can see it there and then you can see it. first lo ve todo en inglés con subtítulos en inglés luego le dan el vocabulario luego vuelve a ver el mismo pedacito de la película pero este cómo es que se llama explicándole cada palabra y la tercera vez lo pone nuevamente pero ya sin subtítulos para que usted ya lo escuche y lo entienda ¿ok? Entonces esa es una práctica y hay un montón de videos de ese pero se llama Learn English with TV series o learn English with um, eh, with movies. Aparece Harry Potter, The Lord of the Rings, Spider-Man, de todo. Okay? Y son bien entretenidos. Duran entre, entre 18 y 25 minutos. Okay? Y eso de para listening is perfect. It's very nice. Because they give you pronunciation and they give you everything. It's a real good one. Okay. No problem? No. Yes, questions, uh, for example, Milagro? Yes, teacher. Do you have your questions? No, teacher. No, no questions, okay. Oscar, ask your questions, Oscar, to Brandon. Okay. Uh, Brandon, este, do you have a class tomorrow? Oh, I know how class tomorrow. Perfect. The next question. Okay. Uh, Brandon, uh, do you wanna do you wanna eat a hamburger tomorrow? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> I would say yes, definitely. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, fine. Uh, just for when, did you hear? For example, Oscar said, "Do you wanna?" Right? Do you wanna is do you want to? Okay, so como Saturday is Saturday, it's Saturday and Saturday. Okay, uh, you can say wanna. Do you wanna? Sounds less formal, but it's correct. No problem. And then you can say, "Do you want to?" Yes, exactly the same. Okay. Solo para por si escuchan que alguien dice, "Do you want to?" Okay, or you say, do you wanna? No problem. Do you wanna do this? Do you wanna do that? Do you want to do that? Okay, especially, especially when you speak fast. When you speak fast, when you speak uh, in a normal speed, say, oye, más, do you wanna? Okay, do you want to? Okay, uh, let's see, Lillian, ask questions to Reina. Okay, this, um, once, what time it is? Okay, Reina, what time it is? What time is it? What time is it? Um, 8.35. 8.35, very good. Nice. Okay, good. Another question, Lillian, to Reina? Otra. Yep. Um, um, one time do, do is he go to bed? Oh, ¿Cómo es para decir a qué hora se va a la cama? What time eh, do you go to bed? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, 6 p.m. At? At 6 p.m. 6 p.m. ¿Y qué está haciendo? Este? Ahorita está dormido. <risa> perdón, perdón. ¿A qué no se va a dormir? A las 6 y está hablando con más. No, no, no. no. Eh, a las 8, perdón. ¿A las 8? Peor todavía, está dormida. Sigue. At, at 10 or 9. Ok. Yes. 10 or yes. 9. Ok, bueno. Ok, good. No, office, Lilian me emocionó cuando, porque pensé que iba a hacer la pregunta en tercera persona. Y la hizo bien. Que dice, what time does he go to bed? Entonces, pueden hacer la, la, la pregunta de una tercera persona y la hizo muy bien. Dice, what time does your husband eh, go to bed? ¿A qué hora va su esposo a la cama? What time does your son go to bed? Or your brother, okay? 
pero sí eh, se puede poner eh, esa, esa es la tercera persona. No problem. Good. Eh, let's see, Ivania, ask two questions to Jennifer. Two questions to Jennifer. Fíjense que la, el, el hecho de hacer preguntas parece sencillo el ejercicio, ¿verdad? Pero a la hora de elaborar la pregunta, aunque ustedes lo hayan entendido, lo vean y las lean y comprendan la pregunta, pero ya cuando uno quiere generar su propia pregunta, es aquí donde se han dado cuenta lo que decía Jennifer, que necesita mucha práctica. Así que, don't worry, ¿ok? Yes, Ivania, two questions to Jennifer. Um, Jennifer Hi um, What time do you eat lunch? What time do you eat lunch? Good uh, Eleven Thirty Five 11.35. Okay, you have lunch at 11.35. Good. Okay. Second question, Ivani. No problem. Second, another question. No. Hágale otra pregunta. Another, I... Yes, another question. Well... Do you do it? Oh, how, how late do you work? Ah, okay. For Ivania, okay. Yes. How late do you work? Hasta, como hasta qué horas trabaja? How late do you work? ¿Qué tan tarde trabaja? Ivania? Um, I work. Mm -hmm. Yes. Five. five and six. Oh, six. Five or six. Five or six. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Five or six. Cinco or six. Yes. Okay. PM. Good. PM. PM. Okay. Nice. Yeah. But good. Yeah. No, no good. Five PM, six PM. <laughs> too much. Too much. Estresante. Uh -huh. se dice, <laughs> stress, stress, <laughs> stressful. Stressful. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> Stress. It's exciting, Damien. Stress, exciting. No, stressful. Look, stressful. It's stressful. Uh, not exciting. Because exciting is. Okay, como cuando uno está así alegre, right? Not exciting. Exciting is very nice. Okay, fíjense que el, la traducción de esta palabra sería como: This is exciting, está emocionante. No es una traducción así literal como excitante, porque excitante tiene connotación diferente en español, right? Entonces, suena mejor decir es algo así emocionante, not exciting. Y así se, se utiliza en inglés, right? Se utiliza, en, depende del contexto. Good. Now, we're going to start with the second section. Okay, section two. So this is the end of this one. Now we go to the next one. Which is the continuation, right? So uh, does it have a view? Okay, this is the question for the third person. Okay, talking about places in houses and apartment. Okay, vocabulary for talking about places in houses and apartment. What are the places in houses? The living room, the dining room, the bathroom. What else? The kitchen, the garden, the garage. Study. Uh huh. Okay. The places, the places, the rooms in the house. Okay. Now you can see here the floor plan. You have the second floor and then you have the first floor. Okay, now look and listen. Hi everyone, 
In this class, you learn vocabulary for talking about places in houses and apartments. Let's get started by listening and repeating. House. The house has two floors, a garage, and a yard. The first floor has a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a laundry room, and stairs to the second floor. The second floor has a hall, three bedrooms, and a bathroom. Every bedroom has a closet. Apartment. The apartment building has a lobby and an elevator. Every apartment has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a closet. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just heard. I would like for you to describe your home. Let me provide the following questions to help you do that. What rooms are in your house? What rooms are in houses in your country? What rooms are in apartments in your country? After you complete this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. A dining room, a bedroom. Okay, let's see the image. Let's see the picture. And then you have, for example, the this is a house. This is a house that has two floors, the first floor and the second floor, okay? Two floors, first floor, second floor. Then the first floor, on the first floor, on the first floor, there is a dining room, a kitchen, a, a laundry room, a living room, and the stairs to go up. And then you have on oh, the garage, the garage on the first floor, the garage, the yard is in front. And then you have on the second floor, okay, on the second floor, we have the one bedroom, two bedrooms, and three bedrooms. One, two, three bedrooms. There is a walk in closet or a closet, okay, a closet a hall, there is a bathroom, okay, there is a bathroom and the stairs to go down, okay, the stairs to go down. Questions in this moment? Okay. First no. floor sería el jardín. No. No, first floor and second floor. The house has two floors. The house o sea has que la casa se divide en dos partes. Mm, floor, floors. Uh -huh. First floor and second floor. Primer piso y segundo piso. Yes, that's correct. Yes. First floor and second floor. First and the second floor. Here on the top, you have the second floor, okay? Yeah. Then in the first floor, you have the dining room, kitchen, living room, and laundry room. And then on the second, the garage. The yard is like the garden, okay? The yard is garden in front and garden behind, okay? Okay. Good. Perfect. Sorry, Milagro. It's a yard is in front of the casa. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then you have the front yard and the back yard. Uh, where's the chef? Okay. Front yard and back yard. Eso es lo que, lo que los latinos le dicen allá, la yarda. Ahí en la yarda lo puse. Backyard. Ah, pero es backyard and front yard, right? Okay, what else? No problem? No pronunciation. Problem. Okay, pronunciation. Dining room. Dining room. Perdón, eh, Oscar o Brandon. Eh, sí, con la pronunciación de 
Porque está la parte de kitchen. Ok. Eh, Laundry. ¿Y cómo es la pronunciación? Que con esa okay. sí tengo dudas. Ok, perfecto. Laundry room. Laundry room. Laundry okay. room. Laundry room. This is okay. where you put the, your clothes when it's dirty. When they get, then you put it there and you wash it. You ah, wash okay. it in the machine. The washing machine. Yes. Is okay. a teacher. Perdón, Jerry. Es como. ¿Cómo? Jerry es el guardarropa. No, it's where es you la are. lavandería. Exactly, right? It's the room for the lavandería, right? It's the room ah, okay. for the laundry. Hay casas, okay. hay algunas casas que se puede ¿verdad? hacer así como la mía, así bien grande, entonces se pone un cuarto. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Sí, no, es, es, tres pisos. Then, uh, Primer nivel, teacher. Yo o la casa. <laughs> <laughs> la casa. Okay. Your house. <laughs> no, yo solo soñando paso, don't worry. Ok. Then, uh, for example, no, okay. yes, good. The laundry room is, algunas casas sí tienen, aunque sea pequeñito, pero tiene un espacito solo para lavandería, right? Y se pone la washing machine. Este, eh, here. Lavadora y la secadora. Ajá. Washing, exactly. Washing machine. Aunque aquí creo que las secadoras no mucho, ¿verdad? Por solito que hace acá es. En otro, en Estados Unidos. Sí, no, son teacher. Ah. The sun, teacher. Yes, no, the sun here is terrible. It's, el, aquí se lava la ropa y en, por ejemplo, aquí en Lourdes se lava ropa y en, en una hora lo macha está seca. Entonces, cuando está el sol fuerte, es increíble. Y, y, y lo mejor es, pero ¿saben qué es lo mejor de eso? Que la ropa usted la lava y no que, y sea, la, está seca, seca y no queda mal olor. En Estados Unidos o en otros países... Como se ocupa secadora, viene de la lavadora a la secadora. Entonces la ropa mantiene a veces un, un olor así a húmedo. A mí por lo menos no me gustaba. Pero por eso que ocupan muchos detergentes ellos con, con ¿cómo es que se llama? Con aromatizantes. Para, con olores. Ajá, ajá con olores para mat, matar todo eso de la, de la humedad. Okay, that's one reason. Entonces ahí tienen washing machine y tienen de drying machine, que es la secadora. Okay, drying machine. Okay, vamos a practicar. Le voy a pronunciar las palabras para que se recuerde. Dining room. Dining get, room. Es decir, no, no es kitchen, sino kitchen. Okay, kitchen. Kit, kit, kit. No kit. Kit. Kitchen. Kit. Laundry. Laundry. Laundry room. Ya oyeron también que la palabra lavado de dinero se dice money laundry. Money laundry esta palabra y se pone money primero, de dinero, money laundry, que eso lo van a ver en películas de, o, en, o en algún documento de, en inglés que hable de eso de hacer money laundry mafia. Ajá, de mafia, correct ok, you have living room stairs 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 son las eh, las gradas, right garage the garage is for the car and the yard. The yard. Then you have bedroom. Bedroom. Closet. Hall. Okay, teacher. Hall, a hall is el pasillo. El pasillo mm -hmm. Okay, hall. Oh. Lo que puede estar eh, dividiendo las las habitaciones right hall un pasillo eh, stairs okay. stairs again then go down dining room kitchen laundry room living room stairs garage bedroom closet hall stairs bathroom bathroom First floor, first floor, no first, first, first floor, second floor, okay, in the apartment, it's similar, right, bedroom, dining room, living room, elevator, 
okay, the elevator goes up and down, the kitchen, the closet, and the bathroom. The bathroom. And then when it is a building, there you have lobby. Lobby. Lobby, elevator, to the apartment. And then you have the bathroom, bathroom, closet, dining room, kitchen, elevator, and the living room. Can you see that the apartment is a small and the house is obviously is bigger, okay, larger. It's little. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, there are some houses that are very little, right? Little houses. Uh, depending on the area and depends on the on the price, the cost. Okay. If you have a the marginal teacher. Huh? La zona marginal. No, pero fíjese que, la, por ejemplo, la mayoría de casas en San Salvador uh, no se encuentran casi gran, casas grandes, casi ya. Que las uh -huh. que construyen todas son pequeñas. Eh, tal vez en esta zona ya más, eh, ¿cómo le llamamos? No son los suburbs, como ya fuera de San Salvador, se encuentran casas un poquito más grandes y más baratas que en el propio San Salvador. Lo único que hay que viajar más. ¿verdad? Pero no es tampoco la gran diferencia. In, in size, okay? But see, it yes, depends on the area. And in, in Estados Unidos, it's igual. The casas que se encuentran grandes, así como, bueno, por ejemplo, usted va a Virginia, y, y allá va a haber casas que así como que son las que salen en las películas, que van un carro, árboles a un lado, árboles al otro, y va manejando y ve una casa en medio de los árboles, y allá, como a los cinco minutos ve otra casa. Pero los terrenos son de las casas, tienen dueños. Eh, y por ejemplo yo tengo un amigo ahorita en Virginia que el, en el patio tiene un, la parte de un lago imagínate que llega o sea, está a la orilla de un lago su casa y todo entonces es una casa wow. inmensa entonces uh -huh, beautiful house y una no casa. le preguntaron si asustan <ríe> sí igual que queda la de Lake House Cabal que va a salir ahí una, uh, el monstruo de la laguna ¿no? En, en, y eso, por ejemplo, pero a, a, digamos que son inmensas, acá digamos, es, pero depende de las áreas. ¿no? Hay zonas en las que también hay casas que son súper reducidas. Como decía, hay zonas marginales y todo eso. Hay de todo. Ok, so this is, for example, the, this is a standard house. Ok, this is a standard one with two floors. Ok, two story house. Good. Then, no problem. We no have problem. this vocabulary, and then we have this one. Okay, you will learn how to respond. Yes, no questions. Don't no repeat, repetition of the yes, no questions. And a conversation. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to respond to yes or no questions in the simple present. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about an apartment which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation. My new apartment. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. <clears throat> is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Now let's try to understand simple present short answers. I would like for you to notice the chart on the screen. Do you live in an apartment? Okay, wait. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. Get okay. And let's see this one. Okay. You see that in the chat? 
listen and imitate. Yep. Okay. Listen and imitate. Escuchen cómo habla la chica y con esa emoción, okay. Y traten de hacer ese sonido, right? Esto ayuda a la pronunciación. Guess what? I have a new apartment. I have a new. I have a new. Real life setting. Let's listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. Okay. I say, hey, guess what? Okay. I have a new apartment. Okay. Say that, eh, Milagro. Yes, teacher. Say this. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I have a new apartment. Ma o más emoción. Apartment. Listen. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. Okay, go, Milagro. Guess what? I have a new apartment. Okay, that's good. That's better. Okay. You see, you can feel that emotion, right? Guess what? I have a new apartment. Ah, uh -huh, yes, yes, yeah, I almost crying. You're like, look, I have a new apartment. <laughs> okay, finally, my dream come true, okay? And then you say, okay, guess what? Nice. Okay, uh, Oscar, listen to this. That's great. What's it like? Okay, Oscar. That's great. What's it like? Okay, you say, hey, that's great. That's great. What's it like? Okay. Good. Uh, let's see, Jennifer. Listen. It's really beautiful. Okay. Okay. It's really beautiful. More, more feeling. Uh, it's really beautiful. Okay. Okay. Listen to this. Aquí sí a casi llora. I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Okay, it's really beautiful. Yeah, got it. Say it, Jennifer. Uh, it's it's really beautiful. Okay, good. No, 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 comparto su emoción. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay, <laughs> because that's what it says. Pero le decía ahí, listen and imitate, right? Eh, porque es una imitación, exactly. It's not exactly something that, that you, it's not your feeling, okay? It's not your feeling. But Jenny, it's really beautiful. Say it. Okay. It's really beautiful. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Okay, the next one. Eh, Brandon. Is it very big? Say, Brandon, is it very big? Okay, let me see. Okay, all right, no problem, no, no worry. Okay, good. Then well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? Okay, look, for example, Como le lleva cambiando ya la entonación, right? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, uh, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Yes, Brandon? Este, ya, ya me funciona. Okay. No me abrí el micrófono. Okay. Read it. Dígalo. Is it... Is it very big? Is it very big? Uh -huh, except, si ven el, el... I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? What? Bien, en la segunda era, is it very big? Ya no suena tan emocionado, right? And yeah, tampoco. Look. Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Okay, well, 
It has a big living room, small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Okay, Ivania, lea esa parte. Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Well, it's a, a big living room, a small living room, a bathroom, and a kitchen. And a kitchen, okay. You see, it's less the emotion, right? Then, uh, Oscar. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, exactly. Where is it? Good. Uh, let me see now. Reina. On Lakeview Drive. Um, mm -hmm. On Lake. On Lakeview. On Lakeview Drive. Drive. Yes. On Lakeview. On Lakeview Drive. Okay, you see, now ya va más relajada la conversación, right? It's not with the same feeling as before, okay? ¿Qué eh, significa Lakeview? Es el nombre de, de, de la, ¿cómo que se llama? Del, de la calle que se llama, es, se llama la calle Vista al Lago. Lakeview ah, okay. Lake sería como la Vista al Lago. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Good. Okay, Jenny, la siguiente. Oh, no, 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 wait. This is for Brandon. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Oh, nice. Does it have a view? A view? A view. Good. Okay, Jenny, the last one. Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Now, let's... Yes, it has a view. Okay. Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. 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 Good. Excellent. Okay. So you see, that's what it means, you know, to uh, listen and imitate. ¿Para qué le va a servir eso? Para dos cosas. Uno, para ir como digamos quitando eso es un poquito la, la entonación latina y los segundos también se va quitando la pena ok porque ya cuando muchas veces a veces, no sé personas que no, no queremos hablar a veces en frente de otros porque ay, van a decir que, 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 ay, que estoy hablando se oye diferente pero o sea si uno va a hablar otro idioma pues ni modo o sea, no va a sonar igual que el de español pues o sea, entonces hay que quitarse a veces esa pena y eso es una parte de hacerlo que ¿okay? say yes what Porque, escuchen esto. Guess what? I have a new apartment. Uh, that's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Uh, is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? ¿Cómo le suena? Simple. A caliche salvadoreño. Ajá, exacto, right? ¿Está mal eso? No, no está malo, ¿ok? Porque sí se entiende, o sea, lo importante en, este, en el inglés es la comunicación, ¿ok? Pero si ustedes quieren hacerlo un poco mejor, está la otra opción de ir a, a, adaptando el oído a hablarse, ¿verdad? O sea, lo importante, recuerden que ahora, en, antes, hace muchos años, había más como crítica, quizás si alguien no hablaba, como, ay, no se lo, a mí, a quien feo se lo oído. Ahora ya eso ya cambió alrededor del mundo, ¿right? Ahí Incluso hay textos en los que se llama, hay uno que se llama Wordlink, donde aparece gente de México, de uh, from Africa, from Europe, diferentes países, de uh, France, China, eh, Taiwán, y hablando con su propio acento. Entonces, este, lo importante es pronunciar bien, ¿ok? Entonces, so, así que no hay que tener ese tema, right? Good. Eh, my goodness, it's almost time. Well, does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Now let's try to understand simple present short answers. I would like for you to notice the chart on the screen. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. 
Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. We'll start on the left side of this chart. Let's look at the question. Do you live in an apartment? The way we answer this type of question is by saying, yes, I do, or no, I don't. When responding to yes or no questions, we will typically answer in this way. It's important that we recall a rule that I explained a few lessons ago. The auxiliary to use when forming questions and short answers in the simple present is the following. For the pronouns I, you, we, and they, do, or don't. For the pronouns he, she, and it, does, or doesn't. Now, if you see the example, do the bedrooms have windows? Because we're talking about bedrooms, plural, we're going to use the pronoun they and the auxiliary do or don't. So the answer can be posited by saying, yes, they do. Or negative by saying, no, they don't. Let's analyze one more example. Does Chris live in a house? Because we're talking about Chris, singular, and third person, we're going to use the pronoun he and the auxiliary does or doesn't. So the answer can be positive by saying yes he does or negative by saying no he doesn't. Now it's your turn to practice by making yes or no questions and making short answers. Ask questions about the houses or apartments of your friends, relatives, and co-workers and make short answers as well. Whenever you finish this task, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, people. So we're gonna stop here. So then remember we have the uh, yes, no questions, uh, information questions, uh, vocabulary from the house and apartment. Okay, so we're going to work on that on Monday. Okay, so thank you very much. Have a very nice weekend. Have a good night and rest as much as you can. See you good soon. Good night, teacher. Hey, good night. Bye-bye. Bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.